Julius works at Spectrologic in Boulder and is currently working on achieving his competent communicator. He recently lost his laptop, so go easy on him. The title of his speech is, Have a Backup Plan. <laughs> thank you very much for being here. And thank you very much for thinking about my laptop, uh, which I'm pretty sure I lost somewhere in the middle of this week. It's one of those things that's been confounding me for days and days. Until yesterday, at 2 a.m., I had one of those movie moments, you know, where you zoom in the face and someone says, Eureka! Only it was more of a moment of shock, of discovery, that something very, very bad happened two days before. And this is at 2 a.m. I wake up, get on my clothes, and I rush back to the office to find out whether or not it's true what just happened in my mind that happened two days ago. I'll start with Wednesday. Wednesday I went home with my laptop. Okay? And I'm pretty sure I had it in my hands as I was walking out of my training room. I'd been lecturing that day. I know I had it that day. And I went by the DVT lab to talk to engineers about a new power supply they made and whatnot. And then on my way out, I saw a recycling bin filled with some very valuable items that I really like. And they're very, very expensive on eBay if you want to sell them. But I happen to have a tape library. And this happens to be a Terra pack that goes inside my very tape library at home. These guys cost 50 bucks each. And there are like 100 of them in that recycling bin. Normally, I'm not a dumpster diver. But I really, really wanted those so badly. So I grabbed a few of them, a whole handful of them. And I put them inside my, my, my minivan. And then, you know, closed the lid. And I said, boy, I had a great haul today. And I drove away. Okay, And then I went home, and I realized that my laptop's not at home when I woke up in the morning. And then I went to work, and it was in the training room when I went to work. I thought, well, maybe I didn't do an exhaustive search at home, and maybe it's still at home. So I went home, still not there, Thursday night. And then at 2 a.m., I started remembering this moment whenever I went to the kitchen sink, and I was washing dishes. And you know how the corner of the sink has three points? And you can use three points, make a plane, and it's a pretty stable su surface for a laptop. And you can put it there, and you know, you'll be washing dishes, splashing water, and honey badger don't care. It's okay, you know? It's also good for cubicle walls. So when I talk to somebody, I can put on their cubicle walls, talk about the weather. What else are you going to talk about? That and power supplies. Oh, and recycle bins are also square at the top. Uh oh. And it snowed Wednesday night, and it snowed Thursday. So, yes, at 2 a.m., I ran back to the office to look inside the recycle bin, which was now filled with ice-cold monitors. Someone threw on top of there. And I didn't bring any gloves, so it's like carrying big old ice cubes, throwing them out, saying, where's my laptop? But come to think of it, it is a recycle bin for electronics, and somebody sees a nice Dell laptop <laughs> sitting on top of it. Wouldn't you grab it? I know I would. Flash the memory. Free laptop, right? It wasn't there. It wasn't anywhere. And I started to go into mourning of my lost laptop. And I walked the halls in this morose somber, looking at all the desktops, thinking about, boy, what an embarrassing email that we're going to have to make to the entire company. This guy who likes to rummage through our recycle bins lost his laptop. Anybody have it? Could somebody have grabbed it? And I went to the cafeteria thinking about, man, how am I going to explain that to my boss? She's going to think I'm a hoarder. Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> and then I go into the DVT lab to con think about the lesson that I've learned, and that is to have a backup. I have a tape library. Why didn't I use it? Let me show you how the tape library works. What you do is you have an entry-exit door. That's where you can put tapes in and out of the library. And these guys hold gigabytes and gigabytes and terabytes of data. And you can put them inside and... Uh, and then, you know, this is the entry exit door, and it can turn and present these tapes to a little robot. See the little robot there? Everybody see that okay? And the robot will take the wonderful tape and stuff it into a place called the storage pool. And then, of course, the user wants to put that in. Her name's Sue, spelled without an E for super user. So Rob here, for robot, We'll take the tape, put it into the storage pool, and Ed, our editor, who likes to take you know media content and re-edit it and stuff like that and access the data, he will basically pull data off the storage pool off a data transfer element and do backups and all that jazz. 
So this is a beautiful, beautiful solution so that someday when you lose your beloved data pool, your one and only copy of a data pool, and isn't it ironic that I work for a storage company and don't back up my own stuff? You can retrieve that data from your beloved T50 Spectra library that you've earned. I promise. So as I was walking through the halls and finally finished up at the DVT test lab, and I looked inside, suddenly on the workstation, what's that? A gray computer with an Apple sticker on it. Can you believe it? It was on a workstation for the last two days. Remember when I talked about the power supply with the engineers? I just put it down, started talking to them, and forgot I had my laptop. Isn't that great? I should back it up someday. Mr. <laughs> Toastmaster. <laughs> <laughs>